All right, here we go. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I am your host, the average rifle controversy enjoyer that your mom said that we have at home. Thanks for watching. The purpose of today's video is I'm going to discuss some realistic considerations for you, uh, the average dude or dudette out there that is trying to get a rifle that will realistically last their entire life or um, I guess what they should realistically expect to get on a rifle uh, and not just go balls to the wall, try to break the bank and buy an aim point or an ACOG and buy a Daniel Defense build out or CAC or whatever your, uh, you know, if you want to dump your entire savings account on a rifle or a good chunk of it, okay, that's not what this video is going to be about. This video is going to be about what the average person should actually look for in a build. Um, just some basic considerations that I would recommend for somebody that is looking for a, okay, maybe they have a bunch of PSA builds or whatever, just laying around or unfinished rifle builds, but they're just like, okay, I have a bunch of stuff laying around. I just want to have one thing and no, this is not going to be the only rifle we talk about today. Um, but maybe you want one thing that you could realistically be like, okay, that's my rifle. That's the rifle I train on. That's what everyone in my house is used, uh, used to using. And that's what I, um, that's what I like. I guess that's what you're, that's what you like. Okay. And that's what you can have confidence in. That's going to be the topic of the video. Guys, I want you to leave a dragon emoji down below. Okay. Um, and if you know, you know, okay. Uh, with that being said, guys, real quick, if you want to support the channel, Patreon, $5 a month, gets you access to our discord server where you can stay up late and tell me why I'm right, wrong, or indifferent on my uh, rifle decisions and advice, okay? Um, and feel free to post down below what your thoughts are on everything we discussed today. Uh, last but not least, Palmetto State Armory. Mega based, if you need something from them, use the link below, it helps me, it helps you, it helps everybody, and there you go, boop boop, that's just uh, what we're gonna do. All right, so this is gonna be the upper end level of what we're talking about. The first thing I wanna discuss is shooting the gun, okay? Um, we're gonna transition over to this thing in a second, this abomination, uh, this M16A2. Yes, it has a 12.7 inch barrel, we'll get there. First thing we have to talk about is how much are you gonna shoot the gun? Now, based on a recent poll that I believe like over 2000 people, I'd have to go back and look, answered on this channel. I asked how many rounds are you realistically shooting a month? Most of you guys said zero rounds. So I want you guys to be realistic in your expectations for building a rifle. If you go out and you build something like this, Daniel Defense, Mark 18, the EOTech Magnifier and all the stuff on it and all the gadgets and all the things um, and make it yours or whatever, but you don't shoot one round out of it, you failed in my opinion, okay? You have to actually train with the gun every month. You need to be putting rounds through the gun. You need to be confident with the gun you're gonna decide to run. So if you have something like this, Daniel Defense, Mark 18, but, uh, but you don't actually shoot the gun, then you just have a paperweight, in my opinion. I know it's gonna be kind of controversial. Someone's gonna say, I can't afford to shoot. You gotta reprioritize, okay? Actually shooting the gun is gonna be the first step. So with that, if you can't afford a gun like this, Mark 18, what would I recommend you get? Now, hold your horses, cause it's gonna get wild. Yes, this thing doesn't have a brace on it. This is an M16A2 from H&R. Okay, you're gonna have to ignore this abomination area of the gun uh, for a little bit, okay? That's just how it's gonna be. But I'm gonna tell you my realistic thought process. Let's start Let's start talking about barrel length for, first. This is a 12.7. <clears throat> I firmly believe the average dude watching this video would be perfectly fine running a 12.5 for the rest of their life, period, okay? Now, someone's gonna freak out and say, what if I got a hunt an elk and from eight million meters away and I need to feed my family and, I, and I'm only using 55 grain? Realistically, guys, most of you have some sort of hunting rifle or 308 or 30-06 laying around that can be used for that um, aspect. And a lot of people are gonna say, well, I, I need you know one rifle to do it all. Well, unfortunately for you, the 556 is not that. But what I can tell you is 556 is really good at putting people that uh, things that walk on two legs or IE people down, okay? So a 12.5 inch barrel, a 10.5 inch barrel, uh, I know that it says the max effective range, uh, max, uh, max effective range is 50 meters, etc. cetera. Um, this is what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I would not 
say that that is accurate. Okay, you can go watch whatever videos of Ukraine or whatever uh, conflict you want of Dude's Rock and Mark 18s right now that are having great effect. And someone's gonna say, yeah, but they're using M855 Alpha 1. Some of them are, or some of the dudes are not. They're using 55 grain ball. But what you're gonna see in most of these uh, engagements is that they're mag dumping, you know, 15, 20 rounds into their intended target anyway, regardless of the type of ammunition that they're using to make sure that that uh, individual is no longer uh, with us, okay? So with that being said, barrel length, I see it all the time. I see dudes saying, you gotta be 20, 20 inch gang, you gotta be 16 inch or more, um, etc." For most of you, I feel a 12.5 inch is gonna be that sweet spot where you could realistically rely on forever and do pretty much everything you want. It's gonna be handy, it's gonna be light, and you're gonna have fun with the gun. You're gonna actually want to train. A lot of you guys will not train with it if it's not cool or not fun. You know it's true, okay? Um, so that is why I ended up getting something like this. This is a 12.7. H&R M16A2, yes, it, you just imagine it would have a brace right here, okay? And this gun is $1,000. All said and done, I think it's like $950 or something like that when I got it, not including the sling. Obviously, you'd want to put a white light on this as well if this was your only gun. But what I would say, uh, with fixed iron sights, a fixed carry handle, and a fixed front sight post, A2 style front sight post, okay, this gun... Uh, legitimately is one of my favorite guns to shoot okay the only issue I've ever had with this gun is and this is not a gun review is the magazine uh, release or magazine release the bolt release gets a little bit sticky sometimes okay that's it that's the only issue so I, what I what I would encourage you guys to do is find a gun that makes you happy in a barrel length that makes sense it doesn't have to be a 16 inch gun it doesn't have to be a 20 inch gun a lot, of, a lot of you guys, and post down below, are running 10.5 or 12.5 inch guns or somewhere in the mix of that range. I would encourage you, um, and most of you watching this, that that barrel length for most of you for the rest of your life will do exactly what you need. If you're worried about breaking the bolt over time, buy one or two extra $150 bolt carrier groups, so you have two extra replacement bolt carrier groups, and if you're really worried about burning out the barrel, buy an extra upper. That will, for most of you guys, you will never shoot out two evers your entire life. Pro prove me wrong, I guess. About to sneeze. Hey, I guess that'll be just as awkward for me as it is for you to watch that. Okay, um, yeah, so for most of you guys, if I'm being honest, realistically, a 12.5 inch gun and something that makes you happy. Uh, the gun that makes me happy, if I'm gonna like train and shoot and run around, is this Mark 18. Obviously with a sling and a white light and all the things and a red dot, then yeah, it's fun, it's cool, it's got a quad rail, I can do all the things with it. But if I want something super light, super handy, that's just, it does the same thing. Yes, is it slightly slower than a red dot? It is, <clears throat> but it does all the same things. And it's fun, and honestly guys, something like this with a 12.5 that's, cheap and handy that you can put a white light on is going to be what you need and you can buy a ton of ammo save a ton of money on the gun and i don't know do a little thing called actually shooting the gun okay um so when you guys are getting into this and you're like okay i have a hundred builds that all of them are mediocre or whatever but i'm not shooting the guns i would encourage you to pick a few that you really like or whatever and buy a buy a couple cases of ammo and start shooting the gun Narrow your uh, inventory down to stuff that you like to use, okay? Um, for me, you know, I have a few. A few ARs here, there, a few AKs. I'm not going to say exactly how many. I have enough, right? Um, and I buy replacement bolt carrier groups. And I buy extra uppers. That way, if an upper goes down, I can put another bolt carrier group or another upper on the gun, and it's good to go, okay? Um, I'm more focused on training and shooting the guns. I wish that more of you guys would focus on shooting the guns rather than collecting the guns. But again, you guys are going to do what you want to do. I can't stop you. I'm not trying to. I'm just giving you my opinion on when you're picking a gun and you're sitting there and you're putting it in your cart or building it out online or in person. I want you guys to think about what you really need. And in my opinion, a 10.5 to 12.5 is going to be ideal for most of you. Fixed carry handle is just fine. As long as you put a white light on the gun, good to go. Um, that type of build will last you forever, okay? Um, I recommend, obviously I recommend Surefire. So that's gonna be an expensive 
thing to buy, but once you put it on the gun, you have it forever, and now you can just train, train, train with the build, okay? Um, for those of you that are inevitably gonna ask about this H&R M16A2, it has about 1,200 rounds on it. Is that a crazy amount? No, it's not. But it's more than a lot of you guys have on your rifles, and I know a lot of you guys will say, yeah, it probably is. It's not me bragging. It's just saying uh, I've shot this gun a lot, and there's a ton of videos on the channel on this gun. And it's just a good, it's a good example of something I would think the average American should at least have and should be training on. Okay, a fixed sight, fixed sight sighting system, throw a light light in a sling, and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, so yeah. In summary, guys, get a ton of ammo, start training. Pick a build, okay? I recommend some sort of shorty build that will make it, that will be fun for you to train on, that you'll be, that you'll want to go to the range, that you'll be wanting to shoot. A 12.5 is fine out to 500 meters, okay? Um, yes, the grouping after 300 is gonna start to open up, but you can hit a uh, minute of man out to 500 with a 12.5. Uh, it's not ideal with 55, no, it's not. You're gonna need to run something hotter like a uh, 77 grain OTM or an M855 Alpha 1. But a gun like this, out to 300, will do you just fine. Easy, all day long. This is, a tw this is a 300 meter gun all day long. Like, period, okay? So if you're in the market for whatever you're doing or you needed a video just to tell you to go out and train and actually build something that makes you happy, okay? Uh, as nothing fancy would say, second type of cool, right? Uh, build something that makes you happy and go out and actually shoot it. All right, guys, leave your eyeball emoji down below. I look forward to, re forward to reading your comments. And until next time, this is going to be Trench Grenade, your average M16A2 with a 12.7 inch barrel. And unfortunately, no brace because it's on a different gun. Signing out. Cheers.